This is how we ride. This is how we do. Well, and some people don't know who the hell you are. Who are? Who is Garrett William? Williamson? Yes, sir. That, that's how they say Have you heard of Garrett? Exactly. See, <laughs> nobody knows who you are. Who are you? How about that? You tell that who to the world. I? Where are you from? Columbia, Missouri. Uh, okay, we, so you're from the, the area where Jesse Hockett used yes, to come sir. from. Yes, Watched him a lot at Double did, did you? Okay, so you've been to Double yes, X? Yes, I think that's a quarter mile version it's, of Williams Grove, by fun, the way. Yeah. It's really, it, well, it has like the little uh, inside yep. like wall, just yep. like Williams Grove. Yep. Badass racetrack. Yep. But... And I kind of hinted on this with Chase Randall. It seems like that region of the country, their drivers just don't get any national recognition. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of really good drivers around our area. And, you know, I think we get a little bit of publicity when we come to Knoxville. But I feel if like... If you run ASCS, they don't care, yeah, though. Yeah, and that's... I ran ASCS for two years, and we were good. And not we didn't get any wins, unfortunately. But uh, I feel like we were good. We raced with a lot of really good guys, but never really got the name. I feel like I'm a lot older than... The guys I started racing with, well, only been and two. look at even a Blake Hahn. Yeah, I mean nobody really yeah. even knows who no, he is. Blake is a phenomenal race car driver, and I, my, I, my first year was with actually uh, Chase Randall, and obviously everyone knows who he is, and we've raced right along with him, and I feel like we're both kind of hitting the four t- four ten scene running right now, and I'm I don't I don't care to be in the spotlight. I kind of like doing my own thing, and I try to do the best I can for my partners. Obviously, I uh, shake everyone's hand and smile, and I'm just fortunate enough to be a race car driver man this stuff can get taken away at any second i don't i don't come from a family with money and that came from really like racing a big scene so uh i got really fortunate well most people would assume you came from a family of money you showed up in these badass haulers and nice yeah. race cars yeah. what is it that you came from uh started with micro i uh, started in go-karts when i was really young and then the micros our family had a three-car team not really great stuff we kind of did it for fun and ever since i was a kid that's all i wanted to do i knew this was all I wanted to do so I just set my mind for it and uh, figured it out you know a lot of these kids come from the money and the dad's checkbook and there's nothing wrong with that I'm, I wish I was fortunate enough to have that but I didn't so fortunately I have a great opportunity right now so I'm trying to make the most of it I have a great corner that believes in me and he's backed me ever since I told him I wanted to be a race car driver so uh, who is that by uh, the way Brian Paver. I was I was actually his neighbor when I was six seven and always kept in touch with him he helped me out a little bit with my micro stuff. not an epstein situation no definitely. okay okay no. okay and then uh when i was in high school i did the summer job so i was like well i'll go work for him and then i always bugged him i was like dude i just want to be a race car driver so uh there was a race ready 360 we went and bought it that week took it to the national asds show at the lake won our heat race ran eight and then from there on to the rest is his. Another guy that has that natural talent just needed those little I, opportunities yeah. to display it a little yeah. bit. And now you're on the one of the biggest stages of sprint car racing. Yeah. And and, and you're kind of halfway representing ASCS guys in that region of the country yeah. by showing up and doing what you're doing. Yeah, there's you know? a lot of really good racers that come from ASCS. And then I feel like you just the 410s where you have to be in and you can't get stuck in the 360 deal obviously the 410s where the movie right. is and that's what we want to be doing but obviously to run with these guys you have to have a really really good 410 program and ours isn't quite there yet so we're slowly building our goal we want to run the world of outlaws we've me and my carnal we've talked that's what we want to do and maybe it's going to be a shark racing deal we start from the very bottom and work our way but we've always committed to ourselves that's we're going to do everything we can to make it to that and our first year of racing, we didn't have anything, and we went around the national tour. The last year, they went to California, and I was like, oh, you guys aren't going to make it a whole year, and why not? And we committed to the whole thing and never gave up, so it wasn't a great year, but it's, you can't quit, and he's never quit on me. I'll never quit on him, and we have some great partners that back us and that we keep uh, building great relationships. So with. what is your year going to look like this year? Um, I'm, Are you going to run Knoxville all year? Yeah, I have a great deal with uh, Don Long, Searsburg Telephone Company. He's, he's letting me run his uh, 360 Moyo engine for the championship uh, points here. And then a lot of double duty as long as our 410 motors allow it. And then go up to Houston a little bit when we can. And, and then, that'll fit the ASCS wheelhouse. Yeah.
if we can go out there for a month and race, it's kind of what we've talked about doing, but obviously you have a whole season ahead of us and see where we're at with parts. We're not a really big budget team. We're kind of building on, building on a small budget and seeing how far we get and race as much as we can. I'm, I'm honestly I'm really behind of what I was last year. I think last year I was already at 23 races and then committed to the 360 deal here. We're really behind on that. We've had a really rough start, but... We're rolling now and I feel like we have really good speed in both cars, so we're gonna keep building on that. We have this great rig and then my car owner, uh, our company, we do uh, custom semis, so like semis built by the guys at our shop. And oh wow, those rims are nice. Thank you. Wow, so that's what they do for a living. Yep, my car owner, he's obviously comes from semis, so ever since we started doing this racing deal, he's seen the, the Outlaw guys' rigs and obviously this is in our wheelhouse, so it's not a big, a big deal for us to do this because we can do it all in-house it's not like we're spending tons and tons of money sending it anywhere so it's all in-house so and it's great publicity for mid equipment and his business i've been fortunate enough to been with really great partners and we take care of our stuff dennis moore jr has my equipment top notch it's honestly not all brand new stuff our four tens are 12 13 years old he just he takes care of our equipment great and we go through our stuff very thoroughly it's he's got a ball on a budget almost so gotta shake everyone's hand in this industry you never know i mean i get a call tomorrow morning and say my corner's done having fun with it and i'm out searching for a ride and i have no backing to go into some other ride so i gotta make him happy i gotta make my partners i gotta make everyone happy with and show up to the races and do the best i can you know i'm not gonna win every night but you're you know, competing yeah you're, you're competing. up there out of nowhere yeah for a lot of people yeah a lot of people obviously don't know who we are and so that's kind of my goal we've i've got a, this is kind of a really big year for us honestly you know we need the help we want to go 410 racing we want to run with the world of outlaws that's our dream together so that's what we want to go do well we will go do it is taking uh meeting the right people at the right time and letting things fall into place come from nothing i, I before my first year with ascs i probably ran 15 to 20 micro shows a year and old micro stuff so Right, really, sprint cars was, was the first time I've ever raced 40 races in a year of anything. This industry is insane. You, it could all be done tomorrow, and the way it's going right now, you have to have money. It's unfortunate, but like the days of hopping in. Racing your way there. Yeah, it's not really there, and hopping in this guy's car this week, and this guy calling you that, it's kind of gone. So I'm really fortunate enough to have the opportunities I do right now, and I'm going to race with every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears, and try to make it to the top of what I can right now. All right, well, I think the world has learned a new version of the 24 car so. with the nice T-shirts. Thank you. I hope, uh, yeah, there's not enough interviews. Uh, a lot of fans don't really get to see a lot of drivers besides what they see on the track, and people get a lot of hate for how people drive, and I think a lot of these people, you got to meet them face-to-face, -face and they might seem mean but or rude in how they carry themselves, but, like, this is my job. If I don't perform, I don't make money, and I don't have opportunities, so i got to make sure, like, you gotta, keep kicking yeah, ass definitely but some people it doesn't matter you gotta you gotta always have a smile on your face you have to thank everybody and i have great partners well and you can also speak your mind and people love a person yeah and, and a character instead of just a puppet yeah definitely. you don't want to be a puppet no definitely you know not. so people people love real and that's who i'll always be and the racing it's it's hard so you gotta do everything you can all right well, uh, everyone's waiting for you. Yeah. Even big time racing, even though they weren't big time on the track. Yeah. All right. Thanks for talking, and Thank and hopefully you enjoy uh, the response. Yes, sir. Thank you. This is how we do.